wonderful invocation of Lord Vinay Chattel celebration. Don't you agree? So, no celebration or traditional celebration is complete without the colors of Rangoli. So, Rangoli, what is it? I mean, it's a traditional Indian folk art that's been practiced for centuries. It can both can be traced all the way back to the Indus Valley civilization. So today, it's considered an expression of a vision of design with beautiful colors. So with that, I'd like to invite anybody who would like to participate in the Rangoli competition set up in the room right outside the auditorium. In that auditorium, I would also like you to come and see the beautiful art and painting that's been displayed by the local artists and be wowed by it. Thank you. Thank you, Manju. Uh, with that, we are going to kickstart our program very soon. Before we do that, uh, this is the real competition. Guys, we all know the... Uh, we need, I want to invite two very important individuals. Very, very important individuals. Number one is Sandhya. I would like to have her on stage. Please, Sandhya. She's going to introduce all the judges. The distinguished judges, those who are sitting here. And, and one not so important person, but important person, is Mr. Rishi Kumar. Please welcome Mr. Rishi Kumar. He's going to talk. Rishi is going to tell us all about this competition, everything here. Before that, over to you, Sandhya. Hello, everyone. So our first judge is the co-chair of Hillsborough Television. She's a guest commentator on NPR. She's also hosted and anchored programs on Doordarshan and All India Radio. was Arti Shivastan. I didn't really hear that. He hails from a rich heritage of musicians with his mother, Srimati Prabhavati Talarisa, being the first female Rudangam exponent in Andhra Pradesh. He learned Carnatic music from his mother, Hindustani from Dr. Tapan Bhattacharya of Chicago, and Srimati Sudakina Alagya of San Diego. He's currently learning Carnatic music from Sri Tara Pramara Padala of Hyderabad, India through internet. He's the winner of American Sitar Award in 2014. And that is uh, Balaji Tamarisa. Let's give it up for Balaji. Balaji. And uh, Balaji is one of the judges who will be singing later today. And his voice will remind you of uh, an amazing artist that we used to have. I call him the Mama Trophy of the Bay. He's not there in his own fashion. She works as a project lead in Oracle with three patents to her credit and has won the prestigious leadership award from Oracle President Thomas Korean, founder, creator, director, choreographer of dance, Dil Se. She has danced with 50 plus Bollywood celebrities, including Madhuri Dixit. Recently, she won second place with Saroj Khan Dance USA Dance and was selected for national level competition. And uh, she's very good at furious, furiously texting because she's not here. <laughs> And that's uh, Jyotsna Velipati, she's invisible right now, but she'll be here very soon. So, yes. Let's give it up for Jyotsna, even though she's not here. She's an accomplished and award-winning vocalist, poet and dancer. She has performed on stage with the likes of Manna De, Usha Uttu, Abhijit, etc. She has a BA in vocal music and an MA in the classical dance form of Kathak. With a PhD in psychology and a second master's in social work, she is a non-profit executive by profession. As a dancer and a choreographer, she has trained under the eminent gurus Pandit Nataraj Rabbalas Rai and Pandit Birju Maharaj. That is uh, Kohinoor Chakrabarti. Let's give it up for Kohinoor. With a name like Kohinoor, you have to sing fabulous, right? And I think we will see that magic later today. And uh, Kohinoor was actually, uh, she joins her open mic. Has anybody heard of her open mic? Nobody, nobody has heard of her open mic. Kohinoor has heard of her open mic. One person and one more. So the, the open mic, we run this on the first Friday of the month. And it's an opportunity for everybody to just kind of hang out, sing a little bit. We love the performers as well as the clappers. And we actually run it at Karishma's home. That is Karishma. Karishma is not here. But we used to run this at the Blue Rock Shoot. It's a, it's a cafe 
in downtown Saratoga, and unfortunately they are shutting down. So we moved to a different venue, but you're all welcome to join in on the first Friday of every month. And uh, you know, we are a very forgiving audience, so you are very much welcome to sing and dance and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Back to something. The smart couple have been delighting the Indo-American audiences in California for the last 30 plus years with their live renditions of Hollywood music. Both are founders of a popular Bollywood band, Itanjali, the first Bollywood band to play in the Bay Area. He's an accomplished keyboard player, singer, and a distinguished high-tech and executive entrepreneur in Silicon Valley. She's a psychotherapist professional, is a motorcycle singer who has trained herself for both Indian Western style singing. That's uh, Rama and Mini Shukla. Let's give it up for them. I call them the super couple of Saratoga. So they've had a band for many, many years. And uh, they actually perform uh, at a Diwali event, at all our events. And we are absolutely delighted to have such talented folks right here in Saratoga that we can pull in and put, put together some amazing performances. And, and I'll tell you more about them. They have a heart of gold. You should check it out. She has been dancing for 20 plus years and has received numerous awards, including Star TV Award, Inter-University Competition Awards. She has been trained in different dance styles, classical, Bollywood, folk, contemporary, and hip hop. That is Sh Shubha Gunapu. Let's give it up for Shubha. The, the very first time we ever met was at the Holiday Tree Lighting in Saratoga. Has anybody been to the Holiday Tree Lighting? Anybody? Holiday Tree Lighting. I think everybody is laughing. They are eating. They are having a good time. You know, but wait till the show gets started. Okay. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So, so I think you just need to swap seats. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because we we have sequenced it. So please, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do that. But the reason is because we are tabulating scores, and we just we have just done it alphabetically. So, so my goof up, but that was Ripen Core. Donna. Donna is not here yet, but you know they, they show up 
and they are just a fabulous team. And uh, Sandhya, you know, she leads that effort right here in Saratoga. I would love to have you all explore. So as we go through the evening, you will see a variety of different things that we do. And uh, you know, one of the reasons why we do this, we call it the Hindu New Year, because people are confused. They say, well, is it uh, the Hindu New Year happens uh, the day after Diwali? Yes, that is true. Because we have uh, the business community that actually celebrates the New Year. I don't mind it. I don't mind talking to noise. <laughs> but, but the Hindu New Year happens uh, two times a year. For the business community, it happens right after Diwali. And then for the farming community, it happens right during Holi. And it actually varies across the region. So you have all these posters back there. I would love to have you check it out. Nabo Barsha is celebrated in the Holi New Year. You have Ugadi, you have, uh, you have Vishu. We have a wide variety of spring celebrations that happen in India. And our intention is to basically create a convergence, create a convergence of all these celebrations and bring us all together. And why not, why not showcase Bollywood? Because I think Bollywood is the single most important uniter for all of us. Because now when we see even South Indian weddings, they follow the wedding, the wedding which is Bollywood style, right? The Bollywood style is becoming it's become part of our culture, especially here in North America, you know, when you see all sorts of weddings happening. So we said, when we talk about integrating and, uh, and trying to address the fragmentation that existed along regional lines that still sort of exist, you know, we thought perhaps Silicon Valley's got Bollywood is the appropriate thing for us to do. And so that's how we got started, the third rocking year, and some amazing team, some amazing team is going to walk away with the grand prize today. So once again, welcome everyone, and we'll get the program started. And uh, I'm pass it. Well, I just want to say that uh, we have uh, the committee chairs this year. There were three of them. They did a fabulous job. And I would like to start by recognizing Jen Somani. Let's give it up for Jen. Amazing leadership to basically take this to the next level. You know, we were actually talking about. You know, whether we should have it or not have it. And Jen stepped up and said, no, we should not cancel it. Once the tradition has started, this is the fifth year of our Hindu New Year and the third year of the Silicon Valley for Bollywood. So, Jen, uh, and also, uh, Manju Banerjee. Where's Manju? Where's Manju? Manju is not here. And then we also have Monica Goyal. Monica Goyal is here? Okay. So, uh, these are the three folks, the leadership that actually got this going. And once again, thank you, Sandhya, and let's give it up for Sandhya. Thank you. Thank you all. MCs, okay, let's, uh, let's go to the MCs. The contestants, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah! You guys are all sleeping. You are all sleeping. Are you ready? Yeah! Uh, you just kind of woke up. You just woke up. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, who wants to win the big prize? Who wants to win the big prize? Too many hands. Um, the, the team here, Rishi and Gang, you want to win the big prize? You guys are sleeping. Who wants to win the big prize? Do it for fun. They don't care about the prize. Okay. I'm sorry? So, what's the big prize money? So, what we did this time was we split it up into two different groups. We have the group segment. I think we have like eight groups that are performing. And the top two get prizes. And then we had about, uh, about 16, 16 uh, solo performers. You are in for a treat because we went through an audition process. Where is Sai? Is Sai here? Sai. Zin Zinema. Sai is not here. Sai actually uh, created an app where we went through the audition process. It kind of automated the whole thing for us. And uh, it worked out really well. So I think we should all give it up for Sai for running that audition. Let's give it up for Sai. Okay. So, so that's all. Let's get our amazing, fabulous MCs. Where is uh, Amarangana? Amarangana. Let's give it up for Amarang Amarangana. Come up here, Amar Amarangana. And then Vidushi. Let's give it up for Vidushi. They will be walking through. They will be walking through the competition, right? But there are a few other things that are happening. Rangoli is happening in the room in the corner, right next to us. So if you would like to display your Rangoli skills, please go into that room back there. If you have paintings you would like to display, you know, you will all walk away with prizes if you would like to. And then there is a community fashion show. 
you know, we take a break. We take a break through uh, Robbie at uh, 12 or 13. We will take a break. And all of you get to be part of the fashion show. Who wants to be part of the fashion show? Ah, come on. It's like, what is this? We all need the Catholic. There's plenty of chai there. Come on, wake up, everyone. Wake up. Who wants to be part of the fashion show? All right. So we have the fashion show, and then we have a few judges who will perform. And hopefully we are all done by like 10.30. But then, the DJ takes over. Let's give it up for Neil Prasad. Let's give it up for him. He will take over and we'll be walking the evening. So I don't want any of you to leave because we are going to have a fabulous time. We'll clear these tables up here and we'll all be dancing away. Is that a good, good plan? Yeah. Right, don't be leave, okay? Don't take the prizes and leave. Stay, okay? All right. Let's give it up for Vidushi and Amarangana. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Um, so this, I'm Vidushi. I will be your host, and this is Amarangana. Yeah. So we will be your hosts for today. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying Feliz Año Nuevo, Bonane. Vidushi, this is Hindi. Oh, um, sorry. No, Varshli Shukamna. You can say it back also. Okay, um, also uh, just a disclaimer, we did not organize this event like Rishi Kumar uh, Uncle said that they organized this event, so you, if you have any complaints, please go to them, don't go to us, okay? Um, so yeah, so um, are you looking forward to the performances tonight? I'm looking forward to all of the great performances tonight. What about you guys? Are you performing today? No, I don't think I, I think I would just be too good. I would probably win. My dog always starts barking when I'm singing, so she obviously loves me. Um, I don't think your dog barking is a good sign. Okay, fine. But I know that the girl who's about to sing is amazing, and her cat probably tells her that she's a great singer. Okay, so let's give a round of applause for Ananya.
You were right. I can't sing nearly that good. I agree. You should get some tips from her. Hey, wait up. Not now. I know that you're not going to want to miss this next performance. Himani is only five years old. It takes a lot of guts and energy to be on stage, so let's give her a warm welcome.
amazing. And I can't believe she's only really five years old. Not to mention she was so cute. <laughs> okay, by the way, everyone, I just wanted to clear the air here. Um, I'm actually older than her, even though she's taller than me, so height doesn't determine the age, just saying. Also, but age doesn't determine the brain because she's older than me, but I'm definitely smarter than her. Well, then, you know what? Age also doesn't determine talent because even though these next performers are young, they have lots and lots of talent. Let's give it up for BDC Junior.
Okay, the question is, who can tell me the first god that is remembered before anything auspicious? Okay, yeah. No, not Krishna.
was an awesome performance. Good job. Okay, Amaragana. What would you do if you had your own army of people? I think I would make them make me ice cream sundae every single day. And somehow they would make me not gain weight from all of that ice cream. I think all the kids would love that, right? If they had their own army making them ice cream every day, say, yeah, you would want that. Yeah. yeah. You, you know what I would do? I would get my a, a huge army of people and I would have them vote for me for president just like Donald Trump did. Yeah? Once we start talking about it. You know what? Maybe we should ask some of the audience over. What would you guys do if you had your own army? Judges? What would you do if you had your own army of people? What? Shoot love arrows? Oh, that's so poetic. What else? What would you do? Oh, make them do your homework. That's a good one. Make orange juice? Wow, I think that's called your mom. <laughs> Let, please, let's focus on the next performance. Okay. Let's welcome uh, Samir to the stage.
Christmas. Um, hey, I'm Arangana. I downloaded this really cool app that measures the amount of the audience's applause. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, let's see how much noise you guys can make. Let's try this side first. On um, three, two, one.
great performance. All of these great performances are getting me so excited. Am I right? Are you guys excited? You know, I, I feel like the ju judges have such a tough job. Are you guys excited? Yeah? Are the tech people excited? Maybe not? Okay. Yeah. I mean, tell me about it. I would hate being judged. way too much TV. Let's watch this next performance by Avni instead. Let's give her a round of applause. Hello. Hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying this spectacular event. My name is Anvi Damani and today I will be singing a wonderful melody by the movie Sedma, originally sung by Yasudas Chi.
quick of announcement. Can we have all the fashion show people come backstage? You guys will be on shortly. Okay. Um, and also, food is being served uh, right now only. Uh, please send your kids. Um, it's okay, parents. The food will be there for the next, uh, for the rest of the night. And we have a lot of great performances to look for. So all of the kids can go get food. So, yay. Um, so, um, all of these performances have been pretty unpredictable. Kind of like the weather in Saratoga, right? Like the hot one day, raining the next day, right? At, at, at least there's no earthquake. Speaking of, the next performance will make the ground shake with their sick moves. Let's welcome BDC Youth!
like a fashion show coming up and don't, you don't have to um, take your time eating your dinner, but next up we have Lindbrook's Bollywood Dance Group.